Okay, uh, good afternoon everybody. Am I audible? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, in the yes, previous okay. In the previous class, we have discussed uh, flat roof, type of the roof is uh, flat roof. Okay, so here totally we have three types of roof. One is a flat roof, second one pitched or sloping roofs, and last one is curved roofs. Already in the last class, we have discussed first type that is a flat type and also we have discussed advantages of disadvantages and disadvantages of flat roof okay so in today's class uh, we are discussing the second type of roof that is a slope roof or pitched roof okay in today's class we are discussing type of the roof that is sloped roof okay just look at the picture you will get some idea about slope roofs okay uh, please all of you look at the pictures these two pictures are showing uh, these two pictures are showing slope roof all of you look at the pictures look at the picture okay so these two uh, pictures are showing type of the roof that is sloped roof okay so coming to the explanation of slope roof see the roof with sloping surface is known as pitched roof or sloped roof okay the roof with sloped surface okay the roof with sloped surface is known as sloped roof or pitched roof okay and this type of roofs are most commonly suitable for the places uh see these are these type of roofs are most commonly suitable for the buildings in coastal areas and in areas where in rainfall is very high okay this type of roof is suitable for the building uh in particularly in the coastal regions coastal areas and uh, suit and also suitable for the heavy rainfall areas okay this type of sloped roofs are most commonly used for the coast used in coastal areas and are also in the areas where the rainfall is very high okay so this type of roof is suitable for the buildings in coastal regions or in areas where in rainfall is very heavy okay so and also in pitched roof a slope less than 1 in 3 is generally not considered from the drainage point of view okay in pitched roof slope less than 1 is to 3 or 1 in 3 is generally not considered from drainage point of view it means the uh, minimum slope provided for the sloped roof is 1 in 3 or 1 is to 3 okay so the minimum slope provided for the sloped roof is 1 is to 3 or 1 in 3 okay keep it in mind for sloped roof the minimum slope provided will be 1 in 3 or 1 is to 3 it should not be less than 1 is to 3 okay and this slope is provided only for the purpose of drainage point of view it means to remove the rain water automatically okay so the minimum slope provided in sloped sloped roof is 1 is to 3 or 1 in 3 okay it should not be less than 1 is to 3 okay in heavy snowfall areas the slope of 1 is to 1 and 1/2 or 1 is to 1 are provided to reduce the snow load on the roof okay in heavy snowfall area okay this type of roof is also suitable for the heavy snowfall area okay in such a cases in such a areas the common uh, slope provided the slope provided will be 1 is to 1 and 1/2 or it may be 1 is to 1 okay most commonly provided slopes are 1 is to 1 and 1/2 or 1 is to 1 okay this is in case of heavy snowfall areas okay and this type of roof is uh, suited uh, suited here the on the slope okay the slope variation the slope varies according to span climatic conditions and nature of covering material okay here the amount of slope varies according to 
span span of the building it means clear distance between the two supports and also it depends upon the climatic conditions and nature of covering material okay here the covering material may be uh, mangrove tiles or sheets etc okay so this is about sloped roof or pitched roof okay uh, please all of you look at the pictures you will get some idea about this sloped roof okay these two pictures are showing the building with sloped roof okay see this type uh, here a roof with sloping surface is known as pitched or sloped roof okay roof with sloping surface is known as sloped roof and this type of roof is suitable for the coastal areas okay this type of uh, roof is most commonly provided in coastal areas or in the areas where the rainfall is heavy okay this type of roof is most commonly provided in the coastal areas or in the areas where the rainfall is heavy and also this type of roofs are provided in heavy snowfall areas also okay also this type of roofs are provided in heavy snowfall areas okay and minimum slope provided in minimum slope provided in sloped roof is 1 is to 3 or 1 in 3 okay it should not it should not be less than 1 is to 3 okay and this slope is provided only for the purpose of removing the rainwater during the time of rainy season it means uh, this this slope is provided only for the purpose of drainage point of view okay so the minimum slope provided in sloped roof is 1 is to 3 it should not be less than 1 is to 3 okay and in heavy snowfall areas the slope provided is the 1 is to 1 and half or 1 is to 1 okay most commonly uh, provided slopes in case of heavy snowfall area maybe 1 is to 1 and half or 1 is to 1 okay and uh, here the amount of slope varies according to span climatic conditions and nature of covering material okay the amount of slope okay the degree of slope totally depends upon the span of the supports and also it depends upon the climatic conditions and nature of the covering material okay so this is about uh, explanation on the sloped roof or pitched roof okay any doubts on this just look at the pictures okay these two pictures are showing the roof the building with sloped roof okay are these two uh, images are visible to everyone are these two images visible to everyone yes sir oh. yes sir then take an next one uh, types of roof okay again we have various types of roofs here okay the first one single roofs okay these roofs are divided into three types here one is single roof second one double or purlined roofs third one triple membered or framed or trussed roofs okay here we have three types of roofs okay one is single roofs second one double or purlined roofs third one triple member or framed or trusted roofs okay these single roofs are again divided into four types okay the single roofs are again divided into four types one is lean to roof first one is lean to roof second one coupled roof third one couple close roof and last one is collar beam roof or collar tie roof okay these are come under the uh, classification single roofs okay so single roofs are again divided into four types here the first one is lean to roof second one couple roof couple close roof and last one collar beam roof or collar tie roof okay these are the uh, various types of roofs come under the classification single roofs okay and the second one is double or purlin roofs see here uh, again we have divided these trusted roofs into various types but your syllabus has included only two types okay one is king post and second one is queen post okay so these trusted roofs are again divided into various types but your uh, syllabus 
has included only two types one is a king post and second one is queen post okay so this is about classification of this rule okay one is single rule second one double or purling rules and third one is framed or trusted rules okay these trusted rules are divided into two types here okay king post and queen post okay now we can discuss one by one okay first i am taking first type as single rules okay single rule just look at the picture single rules look at the picture you will get some idea about the topic you all have seen this type of structure during the time of construction of tent or hut okay so you all have seen this type of wooden structure when construction of hut or tent okay so what is single roof here single roof single roof consists of only common rafters which are secured at the ridge or ridge beam and wall plate okay single roof here the single roof consists of common rafters which are fixed at the ridge beam and wall plate yes then what is this ridge beam okay just look at the picture first picture look at the first picture all of you look at the first picture this central beam is known as ridge beam okay this central beam is known as ridge beam okay so in the second picture this is the ridge beam okay this is the ridge beam okay so single roof consists of here the single roof consists of only common rafters which are secured at the ridge and wall plate okay okay and what are these rafters see coming to the picture okay these are the rafters okay so these these are known as rafters okay these vertical members inclined members okay these inclined members are known as rafters and these horizontal members are known as battens okay is this visible to everyone this slide this image is this visible to everyone yes sir okay yes sir uh, so these inclined members okay these inclined members are known as rafters okay and these horizontal members are known as battens okay all you have seen this type of wooden structure during the uh, during the time of construction of hut or tent okay so these horizontal members are known as battens and these inclined members are known as okay known as rafters okay coming to the explanation of single roof okay the single roof consists of rafters only rafters which are fixed at the ridge and wall plate okay just look at the picture okay this whole wooden structure is made with only rafters okay no such a battens are provided here okay so this whole uh, wooden structure is made with the beam and raft okay here these are the rafters look at the first pictures first picture these are the rafters these are the ridge beam this central beam is known as ridge beam okay in single roof uh, these rafters are fixed to the uh, ridge beam and also fixed to the wall plate okay so single roof consists of only common rafters which are fixed at a ridge beam and wall plate and this type of roof is suitable only for the shorter span okay this type of roof okay this single roof is suitable only for the shorter span okay uh, in such a case no intermediate support is required for the rafters okay so this type of roof is suitable only for the shorter span what is span the distance between these two supports okay just look at the uh, second picture okay the distance between these two supports are known as okay the clear distance between these two supports is known as span okay this type of roof it means the single roof is suitable only for the shorter span okay in such a case 
no intermediate supports are required for these routers only two supports are enough okay only two supports are enough in this case okay these type in, in single groups are suitable only for the shorter span okay here the span means a clear distance between the two supports okay look at this second picture and the distance between the clear horizontal distance between these two supports is known as span okay and this single room is single group is suitable only for the shorter span okay in such a case no uh, intermediate supports are required to support the uh, rafters provided okay so this is about small explanation on the single roof keep it in mind the single roof consists of rafters which are fixed at the ridge beam okay the central beam is known as ridge beam and also these rafters are supported on wall plate okay also these rafters are supported on the wall plate Okay, these are the rafters. These rafters are fixed. One end of the rafter is fixed to the ridge beam, and another end is supported on the wall plate. And this type of roof is suitable only for the shorter span. In such a case, no intermediate supports are required to support the rafters provided. Okay, so this is about small explanation on the single roof. Okay, uh, coming to the first type. Under the single roof, which one is the first type? Under single roof, that is lean-to roof. Okay, take a first type under the single roof. Okay, look at the picture. This is the lean-to roof. All of you, look at the picture. You will get some idea about this. Look at the picture. This is the lean-to roof. Come under first type. Come under single roof. Lean to roof. See one more picture. Yes, this is the lean to roof. Lean to roof. All of you, please look at the picture. This is the lean to roof. Yes, this is the lean to roof. All of you, please look at the picture. This is the lean to roof, which is attached to the main building wall. This is the lean-to roof or outhouse, outer house, which is attached to the main building wall. This is the lean-to roof. Please, all of you, look at the picture. Yes, this is the line diagram for the lean-to roof. This is the line diagram diagram for the lean-to roof. Yes, this is the outer house which is made with lean to roof. Yes, this is the lean to roof. Yeah, coming to the explanation. Yes, uh, it is the simplest type of roof in which rafters taking slope to one side only, and it is also known as front roof. Okay. This lean to roof is simple type of roof in which rafters are taking the slope only on one side. Okay, here in this type of roof, the rafters are taking slope only on one side. Sometimes this type of roof is also known as front roof. Okay, just look at the picture. Okay, these are the rafters. Okay, these are the rafters. Inclined members are known as rafters here. Rafters are taking the slope only on one side, not on both the sides. Okay, in this picture, okay, in this picture, look at the picture, first picture. Here, the rafters are taking the slope on both the sides. Okay, both the sides of ridge beam. Okay, in the first picture, here, the rafters are taking the slope on both the sides of the ridge beam, but in lean to roof, the rafters are taking the slope only on one side, not on both the sides. Okay, that is the lean to roof. That is the main important feature of this lean to roof. Okay, keep it in mind. In this picture, okay, the first picture of this slide, okay, here the rafters are taking the slopes on both the sides of ridge beam. Okay, but here, uh, here in lean to roof, the rafters are taking the slope only on one side. That is the main important feature of this type of roof. 
okay look at the picture okay this is the um, uh, wall okay and this is the outer wall okay this wall is attached to the this higher uh, uh, high height wall is attached to the main building and this is the outer wall okay and these are the rafters this yellow line okay this yellow line is indicating rafters here the rafters are taking the slope only on one side okay not on both the sides rafters are taking the slope on only one side okay look at the picture here here also here the rafters are taking the slope on only one side okay look at this picture here also uh, rafters are taking the slope on only one side okay this is the main important feature of this type of roof that is lean to roof okay so it is the simplest type of roof in which rafters taking slope to one side only and it is also known as front roof okay here the in lean to roof uh, rafters are provided but those rafters are taking the slope on only one side not on both the sides of ridge beam okay and this sloped roof is located on two walls having the different elevation okay and this sloped roof okay this lean to roof is the type of sloped roof okay this sloped roof is located on two walls having the different elevations okay so uh, this this is the a uh, roof surface okay this roof surface is located on the two walls okay and these two walls are having the different elevations or different height okay this is the main building wall okay and the height of this main building wall is higher than the height of this outer wall this is the outer wall this is the main building wall okay and these two walls are having the different elevations okay and this roof surface is located on the two walls okay two walls having the different elevations okay one wall height is more than the another wall okay so here uh, the whole sloped roof is located on two walls having the different elevations it means Uh, most commonly the main building wall this is the main building wall okay most commonly the main building wall is wall height is more than the outer wall okay this is the outer wall or veranda wall okay so what is the second feature here the sloped roof is located on two walls having the different elevations okay and coming to the third point under the lean to roof what is that a wooden wall plate is supported either on steel corbel or stone corbel which may be of stone brick or steel okay just look at the picture look at the picture see so uh, look at all of you look at the picture this is the wall plate okay this is the wall plate usually this wall plate is made with the wood material okay this is the wall material this uh, sorry wall plate most commonly this wall plate is made with the wood material and which is attached to the uh, main building wall okay this is the wall plate all of you look at the picture this is the wall plate which is most commonly made with the wood material and this wall plate is supported over the corbel okay this wall plate is located over the corbel and this corbel may be made with stone or steel or brick okay finally this both uh, corbel and wall plate supports the whole uh, roof materials okay so here the both corbel and wall plate supports the whole roof materials okay is it clear so this is the wall plate and this wall plate is most commonly made with the wood material and this wall plate is attached to the and also this wall plate is attached to the uh, main building wall okay this is the main building wall and this wall plate is supported over the corbel okay this corbel is the component which may be made with stone or steel or brick okay so this is the third uh, feature of this type of roof what is that a wooden wall plate okay wall plate which is made with wood material is supported either on steel corbel or stone corbel which may be made with 
stone or brick or steel okay so here this is the wall plate okay the second okay look at the picture this is the wall plate okay all of you look at the picture okay this yellow color yellow color plate this is the wall plate this wall plate is supported over the corbel okay this corbel may be made with the stones or bricks or steels okay this is the wall plate and this is supported over the corbel stones or corbel which may be made with stones or bricks or uh, steel okay and uh, next point is a rafters are suitably secured on the wall plates and also battens and roof coverings are provided as shown in the figure okay and here all of you look at the picture these are the rafters okay this is the okay this one is the rafter and this rafter is supported over the wall plate okay and these rafters are connected to the wall plate okay wall plate and also this roof surface is made with the battens as well as roof covering here the roof covering may be made with mangalore tiles or any other types uh, type of sheets okay sheets okay so here the roof covering material may be uh, mangalore tiles or rcc or it may be uh, sheets etc okay and uh, here the every rafter is uh, supported or fixed to the wooden wall plate okay and also whole roof surface is made with the battens as well as a roof covering material okay so this is the fourth feature of this type of a roof okay here the rafters are secured on the wall plate and also battens roof coverings are provided as shown in the figure okay uh, just look at the pictures okay these are the battens okay these are the okay this is the roof covering material okay you will get everything in this picture okay these are the battens okay these are the battens inclined members are known as battens and these horizontal members are known as sorry these inclined members are known as rafters okay uh, over the rafters the horizontal uh, wooden members are provided those are known as battens okay these are the battens horizontal members okay over the horizontal members a roof covering material is provided okay here the roof covering material may be in the form of mangalore tiles or sheets etc okay so this is the roof covering okay all of you look at the picture this is the roof covering material okay roof covering sheet okay so first here the rafters are provided okay one end of the rafter is supported over the ridge beam and wall plate and uh, over the uh, rafters battens are provided okay and uh, uh, over the uh, rafters uh, uh, roof covering material is provided okay so in this picture you will get everything about this lean to roof okay so coming to the explanation so here the rafters are secured on the wall plate and also battens and roof covering are provided as shown in the figure and here in this type of roof battens are spaced at 15 cm center to center okay here the battens are spaced at 15 cm center to center okay just all of you look at the picture okay the center to center distance between the uh, battens okay these are the battens horizontal members are known as battens center to center distance between these two is most commonly equal to 15 cm okay in lean to roof the battens are provided at a distance 15 cm center to center okay in lean to roof the um, distance between the uh, uh, distance between the uh, sorry uh, battens are provided at a distance 15 cm from center to center okay so and this type of roof is most commonly used for sheds and outhouses attached to the main buildings verandas etc okay most commonly this type of roof is used for the sheds okay or outhouses attached to the main building for example look at the picture this is the outhouse okay uh, for this type of construction the lean to roof is applicable okay this is the outhouse which is attached to the 
main building wall okay this is the main building wall okay this is the outhouse this outhouse is attached to the main building wall construction of this outhouse requires a lean to roof okay and uh, this type of roof is suitable for the span of 2.4 meter okay this type of roof is suitable for the span of 2.40 meters okay here the span means distance between the two walls clear distance between the two walls is 2.40 meters okay this type of roof is uh, suitable for the maximum span of 2.40 meters here the span means the clear distance between the two walls or two supports okay so this type of roof is suitable only for the span of 2.40 meters okay this is about uh, lean to a roof okay very simple type of roof okay here the rafters are taking the slope on only one side and uh, this type of roof is uh, supported over the two walls having the different elevations and also here wall plate is provided and this wall plate is uh, supported over the uh, corbel and this corbel may be made with stones or bricks or steels okay and all the rafters are fixed to the wall plate and also battens and uh, roof covering materials are provided okay so these are the uh, rafters inclined members and these are the horizontal members are known as uh, battens which are provided over the rafters okay over the rafters the roof covering material is provided only main important thing is here the all the rafters are taking the slope on only one side not on both the sides okay and these are suitable only for the span of 2.40 meters okay and these are this type of roof is most commonly used for the construction of sheds or outhouses attached to the main buildings verandas etc okay this is the simple explanation on the lean to roof okay any doubts on this anybody okay uh, please uh, text the usn number in the chat box at 115 we have one function so i'm going to end the class now itself please all of you text the usn number in the chat box and be in line for one minute if you have any doubts on today's topic please ask Please, Allah, you text the USN number in the chat box. Okay. so because of function i am going to end the class as earliest okay anybody remaining to text the usn number please text it now only any doubts on today's topics lean to roof under the single roofs and one more main type that is sloped roof or pitched roof okay so on tomorrow i am going to uh, take the next topic as coupled roof coupled closed roof and collar beam roof okay i will continue these three topics on tomorrow's class thank you now you can leave the class thank you